hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i am showing how we can create a bootable usb so first of all you need to download the tool that we are going to use for making the bootable usb today i am introducing one uh, tool called rufus but there is some other tools called unit Bootin and a few others but uh, today i will introduce about the uh, rufus uh, you have to go to the link that i'm gonna highlight uh, rufus.ie actually and once you uh, visited that site you have to download a small setup file which is called um, rufus 3.9 and you can see that it's in the download list click on the run let's wait for it to pop up yeah it's pop it's came now and um, you can see that the USB disk I have installed which is of uh, 16 GB size and the next thing you need to do you should have the ISO file in your computer uh, let me check uh, the ISO file available on my computer I have a few ISO files and let's see Let's take the latest Ubuntu desktop ISO file. It's I think it's like 1.8 gigs of size. And you can see that uh, in the partition scheme, there is two options, MPR and GPT. Go with the MPR option if you are using the UEFI or BIOS mode. If the target system is BIOS or UEFI. And uh, second thing you need to check if you want to rename the volume label which means the name of the new bootable disk you can rename it and file system keep it default and cluster size also keep it and check device for bad blocks is not required it will take a lot of time and you don't really need it just click on the start and for ubuntu you have to go with the iso image mode but if you are doing if you are making a windows bootable usb you will not get this option in most of the cases this is for a warning message for erasing the usb that is inserted just click ok so it will format it completely so if you have any important files you need to copy it before you format it let's uh, see the progress now it started copying the ISO files fine and you can see the progress there and what are the files copying and the time that is taken so far 25 26 seconds and moving on so it started copying the ISO files and the procedure is same for Windows uh, bootable USB as well when you choose the windows as bootable USB or, or windows ISO file uh, when you browse the windows ISO file it will change the option accordingly like the cluster size may be different sometimes depending on the windows version that you are using and volume level you can rename it anything that is the name of the USB that is inserted so let's see how it is going to work copying ISO file it's 58 58 point nine sixty percentage is completed actually it's uh, depending on the size of the ISO file now you can see it's 1.8 GB but maybe for Windows you will uh, it will take a little bit more time depending on the size of the ISO file let's proceeding with the copy process 71.9 is finished almost 80 percentage is completed let's uh, just 
try to skip the video because it's gonna take a little more time so let me finish it and come back so I just pause that video and it's finished now you can see that it's already finished you don't need to start again because it will start formatting and installing again just close the window and um, let's just check the USB in our in my computer uh, you can see that there is one USB which is called Ubuntu 19 it's actually I did it on SD card which um, which I have used using an adapter so I'm not gonna try it but um, for testing purpose I did it on this one I can follow the same procedure for a USB so I hope you enjoy this video guys subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification and do like this video goodbye